So before we start today's video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And that's the one. Go point. What's up? What, what it do? What's good? What's poppin'? What's going on? Ooh. <laughs> you also feel free to check out my Instagram because if I'm not posting here, I most definitely will be posting on there, skits and stuff like that, and polls, and my polls be popping. Ain't nobody can say nothing about my posts because they be a vibe, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, feel free to check them out, okay? Today's video is going to be about the time I was bullied by my teachers. And mind you, this is not like the first instance where I was bullied by a teacher. The first time was in first grade and that experience literally affected my whole entire life. So that's for some other time. Basically, this situation started all in fifth grade and it was my second year at the same school and I was kind of mid excited. Excited because you know I'm in fifth grade, yeah big girl stuff, but like also not too excited because I knew I'd be seeing the same faces of the same bullies that I had to deal with again. Basically I was getting bullied by students on top of teachers you know what i'm saying so i was just like uh you know excited but kind of whatever blessed but you know uh, whatever so let me just point out that my biggest weakness in school was math and to this day is math so that's just like one of the important things that's what the story is going to be circulating around so the first situation was with this teacher named miss daniels and i'm saying the name because i know you're not going to know him unless we went to school together there's a bunch of miss daniels out there would you go trust me because you're one of the miss daniels you know what i'm saying <laughs> so basically i was sitting in class one day with my friend marlo is what we're gonna call her my friend marlo and we were friends but at the same time not friends because she was bipolar and she would switch up any moment and like all of a sudden she's over here roasting me making fun of me having people bully me and stuff like that we were just you know associates i guess <laughs> so one day marlo yawned and look i thought i was so funny in school i thought i was the sh you know what i'm saying <laughs> i thought i was so funny but uh, marlo yawned one day and i remember this commercial you know the red robins, robins. and as she was yawning i was like yeah Yum. you know just like I don't know it just was funny to me at the moment it don't make sense but it was funny to me at the moment and then marlo got super 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 duper mad and started snapping and stuff like that she was like oh, why are you saying my ex name i'm like what you talking about i literally said young i guess it's because her ex's last name was young so she thought i was saying young and an ex in fifth grade come on now relax slow your roll there buddy so she thought i was trying to make fun of her but really i was saying young like the commercial so she's snapping she's not there she tell the teacher the teacher's like oh, what's wrong da, da, da. and then the teacher was like oh why are you saying yum like why is that so funny are you gay are you saying yum to her are you gay you know that's gay right to say yum to somebody with their mouth open and i'm like in my head i'm like first of all that's not what i'm thinking about like how is that gay she's saying all this stuff fifth grader like i'm gonna sit here and understand it Okay, she thought I was sitting up there lying. And mind you, she said this in front of the whole class. So the whole class got to witness her sitting up here calling me gay. <laughs> yeah, and then she said she thought I was lying. She was like, oh, have you ever read The Boy Who Cried Wolf? You know what? That's what I think I'm going to have you read. You're going to read The Boy Who Cried Wolf. And I'm like, first of all, I don't care. I like books. Give it to me. So another situation was actually with her best friend who was also a teacher in the class next door and basically her name was Miss St. Louis and she was teaching me PEMDAS and she was getting really mad because I wasn't getting it. She was pissed. She was mad. She was heated. So I'm sitting down. She she Then she called me up to the board to try to do the problem and I'm just like, oh my gosh, anxiety. <laughs> I really hate math and then I hate being put on a spot like that. It's not like I was scared of her. I was just scared of getting it wrong and being embarrassed because I hate math. So I already know I'm going to mess up. I'm not even trying to be a pessimist. I know I'm going to mess up. So I'm up at the board trying to get it. She over here tapping her temple. She like, don't you get it? Like she squints at her eyes. She just, you know, like, what is there not to get? So she finally had enough at one point. She grabbed my hand. She put it up. She said, use your fingers to count. Da -da, that should help you use your fingers to count. And I already use my fingers to count. So that I'm not offended. I use my fingers to count anyways. <laughs> And then she said, put um, two fingers up. I put two fingers up, but this finger slipped. Boop, there goes three. So when that finger slip happened, she started busting out laughing. She laughed, she laughed, she laughed. She was like, oh, uh, this is three, this is two. <laughs> what is this, five? <laughs> what is this, six? And so yeah, so she laughed and she laughed and laughed. And then she take me next door back to Miss Daniels. Because remember, I told you they was right next door to each other. And they best friends. Miss Daniels taught English. She taught math, whatever. So she takes me to... 
Miss Daniel's class. She stands me right in the middle of the class, actually. So I, don't, I wasn't fully inside Miss Daniel's. She's put me in a way where both classes could see me. And she's telling Miss Daniel's the story. She laughed and Miss Daniel's laughing, the class laughing. I'm just like, oh, what the heck? What is this? And I was embarrassed because I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I really did not mean to. My finger slipped. I couldn't. But, she, you know, she's not letting me talk. So she just making fun of me. Whatever. So basically, after she has her fun, she takes me to her class back again tries again with the PEMDAS she was just like well, you know what I think there's no hope for you Susan I really genuinely think there's no hope for you because how are you not getting it like and I'm just like standing there like okay what can I say what can I do then I go back to my seat I don't know if I cried or if I just disassociated myself from that situation but I don't know what happened whatever and ever since that situation with her and you know others of course I just, I didn't think there was hope for me in math either. I was like, you know what, I don't know how I'm gonna get a job because a lot of jobs, you know, gotta do math. I don't know how I'll ever be a cashier because, you know, da -da, I won't have hope. Da -da 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 -da. And I was just like, you know, like she really, you know, put it in there. Like, there's no hope for you. And I'm like, okay, you're right, you know, I think you're right. But her and her best friend bullying me in front of the class enabled the class to feel free to bully me too because I knew they wouldn't care as long as it's the popular kids which are the favorites they wouldn't care anyways so there was this other situation where we had to take the FCAT in class and fast forward a student was looking at my test the whole time to try to see what I would put so as soon as the test is over she goes straight to the teacher and is like, oh, you know what Suzanne put for so and so and so and so? She put this for so and so and so and so. She's so dumb. And did she get in trouble? Nope. Not a darn thing happened to that girl. I'll tell you that much. Not a darn thing. It's because she was one of the favorites. I'm going to be upfront. She was one of the favorites. And it showed by the end of the school year. They made like a whole movie thing, PowerPoint type of thing for the end of the school year. And there was like two pictures of me and my other friend. And the rest were all the favorites. All the favorites, all pictures and videos of the favorites. All of them. And it was barely of us. And the parents noticed it. It was like, oh, they have all this picture of so and so and so. But they don't have of so and so and so and so. Oh, I see. So during field day, I was selected to run the track or whatever. And yeah, to it was like a relay race. It, the baton pass race yeah it was a baton pass race or whatever um i end up winning i end up winning out of all the classes i beat all of the classes i was first place and as soon as i finished she's like oh suzanne that's so good good for you i always believe in you i always believed in you and in my head i'm like girl no you didn't you learned something on the whole even though it's not math related still you said you didn't believe in me or something so don't try to say you believe in me or something else you know what i'm saying so don't do that so it just it just felt real funny to me, real fake to me. All of a sudden you like me now, huh? All of a sudden you like me. And as for her best friend Miss Daniels, um, I think I was like one of the only students who wasn't intimidated by her. I had a friend named Jakari. He wasn't afraid of her. Me and Jakari were not afraid of her. She would try intimidating students by lifting them up, putting them on a wall and stuff like that. Blah, 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 blah. But like I was never scared of her i would snitch on you lady i would literally snitch on you i don't know i was just never there was not ever a teacher i was just afraid of because i would just go tell my mom anyways i really wish there was like a hypocrite moment for her too but there was not so basically i made this promise to myself that once i get to a level of success that i'm satisfied with then one day i'll probably go visit them or whatever they'll see that little no hope Susie that y'all sat there and picked on and bullied and allow other students to bully she living her best life she doing her thing and she remember how y'all treated her this is how it always goes the people that does the wrong never remember the wrong but the person that you did the wrong to will always remember I'm always gonna remember. So that was the time I was bullied by my teacher. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Feel free to check out my Instagram again because I'm mostly on there. Deuces!